Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this question I got from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. A group of four months old hogs has an average weight of 76 kilograms. The average weight of the selected breeders is 84 kilograms. If narrow sense is 40%, what is the expected average weight of the first generation of the progeny after selection? Normal distribution of the trait in a population always looks like bell shape. So here we have some data for a trait. In our case, this is going to be a weight in kilograms. And here is going to be frequency of this trait. In such a population, we will have very few animals whose weight is going to be very low. We also would have very few animals whose weight is going to be much more than the average and the average would be somewhere here. This is going to be a mean of the population and we will have most of the animals, uh, their weight close to the mean, close to the average. And according to our problem, we know that mean of the population is 76 kilograms. So let's put 76 kilograms here. We want our hogs to weigh more, so from this population we choose parents from this side of this population and you should understand that this half weights more than 76 kilograms and this half weights less than 76 kilograms. And we got a new mean which we call mean of the selected parents and it is 84 kilograms according to our problem. Before I will show you a solution, I have to tell you that new generation or F1 generation, the weight of the progeny have to be between these two means. So this is going to be easy to check if your answer is correct or wrong. If it is outside of these two means, that means your answer is wrong. It has to be inside between 76 and 84 kilograms. In order to find the mean of the F1 generation, which uh, we also call response to selection, and we use R for response of selection, and we are going to use this formula where H squared or narrow sense heritability, we have to multiply by selection differential. And what is the selection differential in our case? And this is going to be difference between 84 and 76. So mean of the selected parents and mean of the population. So let's do this calculation. So 84 minus 76 would give us 8. So 8 is going to be selection difference. And we have to multiply by narrow sense heritability. And we know that narrow sense heritability is 40% or on the scale between 0 and 1, 40% equals to 0 0.4. So we have to multiply by 0 0.4. And we are going to get 3.2. So we have plus 3.2 kilograms to the mean of the population. So we have to add mean of the population. 76 plus 3.2 would give us 79.2. So let's put this mean here. So this is going to be mean of the F1 generation. 79.2 mean of the F1 generation. And this is going to be our answer today. But still, some of you can be confused why if we choose uh, parents whose mean weight is 84 kilograms, mean of the F1 generation or the progeny are going to be 79.2 kilograms and not 84 kilograms. Take a look. Variance phenotypical equals to variance genetics plus variance environmental. And we know, according to our problem, that variance genetics here equals 40%.
that means that variance environmental equals 60% and progeny only can get from the uh, parental generation only those traits which we attribute to genetics and not to the environment because environmental effects cannot be inherited by the progeny. That's why mean population of the progeny are going to be smaller than mean of the population of selected parents. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.